hello everybody welcome to my channel i'm here today to participate in something uh, that i am not really a part of but i've been wanting to do it which is a the booktube newbie tag slash tags because there are two um i am not a part of the booktube community i just i just love books and i love the community i, I have uh, many uh, youtubers that i uh, watch from the community it's just that i don't want to uh, necessarily limit my videos to uh, books i didn't uh, exclusively want to be a booktuber so i will be uploading a uh, book related uh, videos but not necessarily make this channel exclusively a booktube channel um, just an fyi and since i decided to introduce book related videos to my channel hopefully in the future uh, what is a better video to start than the booktube newbie challenge even though as i said i'm not a part of booktube i won't I thought it could be a fun idea and I'm going to combine it with a get ready with me because I'm about to go out so why not let's do it I will uh, do ta the original uh, tags questions and then if I have time I will choose some from the other tags I thought it could be a fun idea to combine it with a get ready with me why not <laughs> I just had a sneeze attack, have to take a break for that, <laughs> spring allergies, uh, nothing new, but anyways, first thing I'm going to put on my lenses and then uh, I'm going to put on sunscreen because I forgot to do it earlier, and then we're going to start. while applying my sunscreen i'm going to answer the first question why did you start this channel the reason i started my channel is because i just wanted to show people a view of the world through my eyes i like sharing not necessarily myself even though the channel is quite focused on me but also my uh other thing you know so for me it's always been i've always wanted a youtube channel um since as a child i even had a one had a one that had like over a hundred thousand views but that's a different story uh for another day i just i liked i like sharing sharing i like sharing i like sharing uh full stop i feel like if people are interested in what i'm saying say it, it be books or not books doesn't really matter then i couldn't be happier second question what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube and meanwhile i'm going to apply my pore blur if anybody is starting booktube they are bringing themselves and their opinions i think it's getting lighter okay i just wow that was a big fuck that was a big difference i think anybody who's joining the community is bringing themselves to the community i'm bringing myself my opinions who knows perhaps i will in the future think of fun creative video ideas to make for now it's just me myself and i and yours truly <laughs> did i even answer that question correctly i have no bloody idea next up is uh the contact i'm gonna not contact conceal i'm going to conceal my dark circles and some red spots on my face uh, and while doing that i'm going to answer the third question which is what are you most excited about this new channel i'm excited about creating new things i'm excited about being creative uh, if that makes sense if i can say that i've been thinking video ideas and i'm my mind runs i can i feel like i'm using it when I think about of YouTube, I, I always uh, try to think about fun thumbnail ideas or, or content, obviously. So it's always, I'm excited that it gives me the appropriate space to be um, creative. Because really, your limit to your YouTube channel is your creativity, uh, in my humble opinion, of course. By the way, I broke my... I just realized you can't see it, so I think I owe you an explanation. I broke my palette mirror. Mirror is completely fine. 
palette is completely fine they just got I broke it because I dropped it so now I have a mirror that I can put as a lid to my palette but this is better much much better this way I think that's good enough because the next step is foundation and I'm going to uh, I want to cover my uh, redness which as you can see is a lot uh, with the foundation my foundation oh I just realized I forgot to tell you the name of the products that I'm using this is my um, primer it's from revolution and it's called Paul Bleu this is my concealer and it's again from revolution I really like revolution uh, it's conceal and define so for next step is foundation I'm using Kiko Milano's insta moisture I put on moisturizer <laughs> by the way now that I've seen moisture before and I'm going to do 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 I'm going to do the full question why do you love reading I think um, people will give you different reasons as to why they love reading but one most common and the one that I also feel like I belong to is that it takes you to a whole new world just through words. It's a great way of escapism if you're having, if you don't want to be in real life, then you can just be in a new world, new life, um, through somebody else's perspective. You don't have to. You know, books give you that opportunity. Of course, I'm talking about fiction. Books uh, don't, don't necessarily have to be fiction. Non-fiction books, what they give you is knowledge. So for non-fiction books, I'd say it's the fact that I'm grateful that I can get information from them. That's why I like reading non-fiction, if I am. And for fiction, which is mostly I read fiction, um, it is that fact that it gives me a new world that I can enjoy. Or not enjoy freely i don't like every book i read um but yeah i feel like it is good to, whether you like it or not to experience a new whole new world uh through somebody else's perspective and just go with it what do you think why do you like reading here's my question <laughs> because I like it when people give different answers. I like it when people give non-conventional answers. And I feel like I do have some answers uh, to this question that are not quite as common, but I just can't think of them. But yeah, do I like it? Hopefully this works. Okay, I'm done with foundation. Next, I want to um, put powder on my face because I feel like it's a look, looking a bit oily. It's a setting powder, but I'm not going to set it. Uh, it's translucent, so I'm just going to take a big brush and just stick it there and <laughs> just put it on my face. And this, this gives us... This gives us opportunity to answer the fifth question. What books or series got you into reading? Um, I've been reading since I was a child, really. Uh, throughout years, I'm, I have not really read like 50 books in a year. Never done that in the future, I'm hoping, so I would really enjoy that. Uh, but growing up, I've been, I consistently read, um, just not frequently. <laughs> So I didn't really have any books that I don't I remember from my childhood that got me into reading. I just remember books that I really enjoyed, um, but they weren't the reason I was like, oh, I want to read more books. <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. Sixth question, which is also going to be me applying eye palettes, my my eyeshadow as. Um, what questions would you ask to your favorite book givers? Oh, it's gonna be fast. I, I don't really have favorites, and I, I, don't, I don't really have any questions to ask anybody really. I don't need a certain person to answer the questions uh, I have if I have any. But if I, I'm curious about something about a person, I will probably find it in a quote Q and A perhaps, or somewhere else. So I don't really have any questions to ask anybody. I watch a few booktubers I really enjoy. There are so many good YouTubers out, booktubers out there. I can't really, yeah. 
I don't have any questions. I'm going to reply the seventh question, which is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Even though this is not an exclusively booktube channel, I do think there are some challenges to overcome for me, which is to read more books. Um, my book reading habits are very, very much dependent on my mood. And I don't read when I'm depressed and I have depression. <laughs> I can't really focus on books if I'm not... Um, in the perfect or nearly perfect mood to read the book or sometimes i just want to take my wind off of something so i just read um but or listen but um, for the most part i my biggest challenge will be to read more books um i want to stop uh, relying my reading habits on my mental health so much um, of course, it will always be dependent on it uh, because my mental health is a big part of my life But still I feel like uh, it could get better than this. This is also one of the reasons why I wanted to start the uh, is I wanted to upload book related book related videos because I thought perhaps having um, Book content on my channel would not motivate me but push me towards reading more books so basically my biggest ch challenge to overcome is to read more books <laughs> okay i'm going to answer the eighth question now when did you start reading i think this is pretty related to the fifth question um so i'm just gonna skip it as i said i've been reading since i was a child i didn't necessarily start at a certain age i don't even know if you can hear me when i talk too much my voice gets really cracky it's a bad thing but yeah so ninth question where do you read i can read everywhere if i'm in the mood to read i can read everywhere a bus a train a plane a, <laughs> a house i could i never tried that but i could potentially read uh, in the middle of a concert as well it's just for me, reading is very much based on my mood rather than anything else. <laughs> so yeah, I can read everywhere if I'm in the mood. <laughs> Nin tenth question, what kind of books do you like to read? Okay, I don't necessarily have one, two, three genres that I'm really into, but I love, 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 love children's books. I, I'm a big, 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 big reader of children's books. Um, I really enjoy children's books. Um, <laughs> Most of my favorite books are children's books, and I know it's like mm, a bit weird, but I don't think this color will go with that color. Let me change my palette. For me, children's books have the perfect escapism for me. The imagination, the, the world settings, the, the I don't want to say innocence because they don't necessarily have to be innocent, but the, you know, the not the mind but the existence of a child in a book yeah makes that book really special for example even though it's not a children's book we were reading it through the eyes of a child to kill a mockingbird i think it's such a good book and i think one of the elements that makes it a good book is that it's seen and read through the view of a child so in general i really like when um when there's a child and children, a ch child's innocence, child's, you know, like that naiveness in a book, I really enjoy it. Um, so for me, a lot of children's books are really fun. One of my all-time favorite books, uh, The Boy in the Striped uh, Pyjamas, uh, made me cry my bloody eyeballs out. Uh, that book is so sad. Um, <laughs> and it's one of my favorite books. Uh, and... Oh yeah, it's a children's book. Other than children's books, my second favorite genre would be uh, dystopian books. I really enjoy dystopian books. I feel like they they show us a world that is not that much different than our, our own world, <laughs> really. Like 1984, um, Brave New World. We see these dystopias and it's blowing our minds off. I see resemblances and, and parallels through both worlds. The world that the author imagined and the world that we're living right now 
and find that really intriguing and interesting. So I really enjoy reading dystopian books. I love the world setting in dystopian books. Um, I love most, most how authors can imagine such things really. It's um, intriguing, you know, uh, to read dystopian books. I don't know. Maybe I just like seeing the world on fire. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't. Um, I would not um, restrict myself to one, two genres saying this is what I like. Uh, I'm open to everything, but there are some genres that I am fairly certain that I don't enjoy most books uh, from, uh, such as YA. Um, but of course, YA um, fantasy could be fun. Um, I don't have really much experience in that area, uh, but as I said, I'm open to anything, but I know uh, I have not really enjoyed most YA books that I read, but doesn't mean that I won't enjoy every YA book that I will read. So the first deck has been finished, uh, I'm on to the second one. The first question is, what genres would you like to see talked more about more on booktube? Honestly, anything but why I really I love uh, watching videos even though I don't I haven't read the books that they're talking about. I just enjoy the content that the that certain person is creating. Uh, so it's not really that much about why I really. But I feel like it's the most talked genre on booktube. So I if it is if automatically if I'm thinking what I want to see more talked about, I'm thinking I want to see less YA, meaning it could open more doors, more opportunities for different uh, genres to be talked about. Uh, perhaps it could be underground literature. Of course, it's a bit heavy for the, I guess, the general demographic of Booktube, I'd say, um, but I really like some underground literature pieces. Mm, it could be a good uh, genre to talk about, I think. <laughs> oh. Another thing, Middle Eastern books. I don't see any booktubers talking about Middle Eastern authors born in Middle East, raised in Middle East. Mm, you know, or j not necessarily Middle East, perhaps India. <laughs> like. Um, not necessarily people of color from the U states or the uk or australia i don't know like not necessarily from english-speaking countries but translated works from middle east india you know so it could be nice um perhaps i'm biased because i was born in the middle east but um, yeah i feel like it's really uh, not represented at all middle east literature there are many great authors uh from there so it could be a nice thing to try their books out so the second question is what do you feel is the best way to make friends on booktube i don't really have any friends on booktube i am looking forward to making friends in, on from youtube in general by the way i'm applying blush wow wow such a good get ready with me video i'm not showing any of the products i'm not saying what i'm doing but when you do ooh, when you add together two different types of videos sometimes it gets confusing uh, i'm sorry but so yeah since i don't have any friends from the community i don't really know what is the best way to make friends we'll see hopefully in the future i love blush i love blush so much and it's kind of ironic that because I have redness my, on my face, especially my cheeks, the irony is that I'm covering up the redness to put redness on. <laughs> oh, my God. But anyways, <laughs> the third question. What will or do you enjoy the most making booktube videos? I think I kind of answered it in the first one, but it's basically sharing my opinions. Here's the eyeliner that I'm going to use. I bought it from Primark. And I'm going to I'm going to use this brush. I can't really apply eyeliner by on itself, you know, like just no 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 no. And I'm going to do this instead. Okay, 
I'm done. I'm not going to mess with it. This is a bit bigger than this one, but it is what it is. So the uh, next question is, what do you least look forward to making videos uh, regarding booktube? <sighs> the fear of not knowing whether I will comply with my goal that I want to read more books. Does it make sense? Basically, I'm scared whether uh, because I don't know whether I will actually read more books or not. That's my biggest um, fear. So that's basically what I look forward the least. Next question: What videos other than text, TBRs, wrap ups, reviews, and recommendation would you want to see more of? I enjoy that content. I genuinely have. Um, I genuinely have no problem with the content, TBRs, wrap ups, those are the videos that I'm watching and of course I always welcome creative uh, outlet, you know, creative videos from uh, people but I have no problem with watching these videos and that's most, that's in general is what I watch on YouTube, booktube too so I'm fine, I don't really have any different videos that I would, uh, I would want people to cover if I have an idea, I will probably do it myself. <laughs> uh, sixth question, and I'm going to, and I'm going to apply mascara and answer the next question, which is, what advice would you give to a booktuber that has just created that channel? That's myself. Um, so I don't know <laughs> what advice would I give myself, um, other than keep going, be consistent, and. Enjoy, you know, enjoy what you're doing. I think that's the most important thing. When a person is trying to do YouTube, that they enjoy what they're doing. Next question. What are some qualities or traits that you look for you look for when it comes to watching other booktubers? Um, I don't like when people talk slow. I do that sometimes. I think a lot and all that I don't necessarily enjoy that but um, yeah I just don't like when people talk number one loudly on a high pitch it gives me headaches sometimes but I just genuinely don't enjoy when people talk on a high pitch and loudly and when they talk slowly I think I told that already and I'm applying highlighter by the way this is an highlighter from revolution it's called mermaid's heart here's the lid it's really nice. I don't mind what people do as long as they're respectful when they're doing it. I would never ever send a hate comment to anybody really, but especially to someone who, who would disagree with my opinion. It just doesn't make sense. As long as people are respectful, which is the quality that I, that I treasure the most in anybody, respect, um, I'm fine. I'm really fine. Next question. Which is the last question and I'm done with except for my lips. This is perfect uh, timing. Oh, bloody hell, we're gonna put on a mask anyways. I just realized. It's not really nice to have um, makeup on the mask. I know, but I just can't help myself when I do makeup. <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, okay, I decided to go with uh, Creme by Revolution. Last question. What's a hobby besides reading and writing that people on booktube might not know you have? Nobody knows what I enjoy really. I feel like this is a tag, the second one, for people that have been on booktube for some time with some following. Because <laughs> like, this is a very specific question that those people would answer. Uh, but like if I need to answer, um, if I want to answer, I would say um, I love, love taking photographs. I love photography. Um, my Instagram page is full of pictures that I've taken from all the countries I've traveled. So I really enjoy taking pictures. I think that's one hobby interest that I, that comes to my mind when I think of what I like. I also like languages. I like learning languages. 
and I'm learning Korean at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm taking classes in my university and I had a bit of French but it's gone now. I have English obviously and some other language but um, that's it. That's all the languages I have. <laughs> I kept going on about languages and it's like one would expect me to know six languages, ten languages. I'm like, hmm, only two properly and also one broken. <laughs> but anyway, mm, I'm done. This was my video where I combined booktube newbie tags and a get ready with me. I'm ready now. I'm going to, I don't do anything to my hair. This is what you get, <laughs> this is what anybody gets. Perhaps a mini like half bun on uh, top, but this is uh, how I'm going to go out. I'm done, so this is how I'm going to go out. My makeup, pretty easy, pretty um, simple. Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, I'm done. Thank you for watching, if you have been watching and <laughs> if you enjoyed this. Not necessarily the makeup because there's really not much to um, like. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, I would, I can't really sell myself. I'm bad at that. If you like this video, thank you. I appreciate that, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you stick around, and until the next one, stay safe. <laughs>